All right, so what if Apple does take away the charging cable and the charging brick? Um, what are you going to do? I think a lot of people um, probably are not even going to be concerned about that. Um, welcome back to another video, guys. It's your man, Jay. And today we're going to be talking about the new iPhones, or four of them, possibly, if there's four iPhones. But more importantly, the fact that it's just going to be a phone in the box, possibly. We don't know for sure. But rumor has it that Apple's just going to give you a phone. They're going to cut the cost, uh, saving them a bunch of money uh, and still making a bunch of money off of us. So let's see here. How do we how do we start this thing off? Let's just say they do sell an iPhone with nothing in the box except for a phone. First question is, is it really hurting you? What if they keep the price the same on the iPhones? Um, and does it really matter? Well, the first thing is, is it hurting you if they take away the charging cable and the charging brick? Well, Apple did a survey supposedly, and they didn't do it in the US, that's for sure. Uh, supposedly they did a survey asking people, what did you do with your cable and what did you do with your charging brick? And all these different answers came in like, oh, I lost it. I don't even use it, blah, blah, blah. So for me, I'll answer that question and you can answer the question in the comments too if you want to. Um, for me, what I do with my charging cable and my charging brick and anything that comes in the box, I don't even touch it. I have aftermarket cables and a uh, 78 watt charger, 80 watt charger that I use. Uh, plus I have you know all the charging bricks from MacBooks and iPads and I just, I just have a charger to where I don't need to open those. And the reason I don't open them, if I'm being 100% honest, is because if I decide to sell that device, man, you have no idea. I used to, do you guys remember when you could actually sell um, empty boxes with cables and all the accessories in the box without the phone? I used to sell those on Craigslist, no lie. There's a mark, there was a market for this and it could possibly come back if Apple does this, but I used to sell empty boxes with all the accessories that came in it to a personal to anyone on Craigslist and eventually I hooked up with this guy where he would just buy them all because he sold phones and he would get a phone that didn't have a box and I had a variety of boxes and I sold those for fifty dollars a pop with the earbuds because the earbuds alone when Apple sells them I think they're like 35 40 bucks and then the charging cable see if you piece together the things separately this is why I was able to sell them for 50 bucks and it was like a discount to the other person because they couldn't get all the things in a complete box. So if it was the same color or things like that, I made fifty dollars a pop for those empty boxes. And trust me, folks, I had a lot of them. I could easily call this guy if I needed some money. But hey, you want to buy four or five of these? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And then I just kind of became his go-to, if you will. And he'd bring two, three hundred bucks, and I'd give him six, five, six boxes. Incredible. I had that many empty boxes that I would had saved, and. Um, and at that point, I kind of decided, okay, I'm gonna. If this is worth some money, I must be discounted. He said I used to buy them for eighty dollars from this other person. So now, if you give them to him for fifty, I'll continue to buy from you. I'm like, whoa. And in my mind, I'm thinking these are just empty boxes with headphones. Then I start to do some research. And long story short, I used to make a killing back in the day on Craigslist. Now, fast forward to today, if Apple decides to not include a charger, headphone, power brick. And just give you a phone with some literature. I think that market is going to come back because there's a lot of people who want a headphone, uh, the headphones or the charging brick. They're just, you know, and they're not even the best quality. They're like, well, they're a five watt charger or whatever. But the earphones, the earbuds, those hold a little bit of value. And I to this day have a bunch of brand new chargers, and I tossed all the boxes because it was just becoming too much. I had like. 50 boxes, empty iPhone boxes or whatever, but they had the charger and all the stuff in it. And I started to go through them and I realized, man, I have some of the OG, I have some of the original iPhone boxes and I just threw all those boxes away and kept all the charging cables and uh, the headphones. Uh, and I have a boatload of them. Same thing with Samsung, I used to keep theirs too, but uh, I just don't anymore. I just, whoever's up there is what I have up there. So. If Apple decides to do this, that market could possibly come back because there's a bunch of people who are going to buy this phone. Probably if, in fact, they do this to the people, they're going to do a couple of things. They're going to try to sell you. Well, here's 
how we're going to market this now. We're going to the optional 50 watt charger. I don't know. They're going to try to sell it to you some kind of way. If in fact they're bold enough to do this and I think they would try it. Uh, but <sighs> that being said, if they do it, is it really affecting you? Well, here's how it affects me. Apple's products are not uh, low in cost by any mean. Now, yeah, you know, I have Macs and stuff like that and iPads. And for me, I get some return out of it uh, because of the YouTube status. So ultimately, for me, most of the things on my channel pay for themselves. And if you're a YouTuber, that's what you should be trying to get at. Have your things pay for themselves and you pocket some cash for your work. You don't want to do things for free all the time on YouTube. You got to get to a place where you're, you're worth it. You're worth doing, getting paid for your videos. And if you if it doesn't happen fast, trust me, with time, it'll happen for you. And you'll be surprised at how you get invited to things. And you're like, whoa, you know, even if it's not to make money, so to speak, a, a form of um, payment can come in a lot of ways by giving you that laptop you, you couldn't didn't want to buy or couldn't afford or didn't have the money for it. anyway whole nother topic but it affects me for that reason because if they do this and they keep the prices the same even though they may spec the phone up i still feel like i'm getting cheated you know why take away so many things because there's always these rumors about apple making this portless iphone and having just wireless fast wireless charging everything well first of all i don't like wireless charging I, I don't I don't use wireless charging now, even though almost all of my devices that I carry regularly have wireless charging or some kind of IP rating. You know, they have, they have wireless charging in. I don't use wireless charging at all. So I don't care for wireless charging. So if Apple does pull this, we're going to we've created this. And just one more thing, we created this special charger and it's going to charge your phone in 45 minutes. You'll go from a zero to 75 percent. I really don't care because I don't like wireless charging. But do I have an option? If they leave a port, then I think they're gonna definitely leave a port. But if, the, if it's not type C, I don't see the purpose of leaving out the charging brick and headphones and stuff like that. But I've seen some leaks and some photos and they're gonna leave a cable in there, uh, but not the charging brick and not the headphones. So they're, it's like they're slowly stripping these things away that are kind of essential to buying a phone from a company. Gotta be able to charge it. So anyway, if they do that, that's gonna be pretty strange but in fact i know they probably will because again rewind just a second they did some kind of survey supposedly in another country i'm sure and people said oh i didn't even use that or i lost it so that's how it affects me now does it really matter hmm not really uh and and for me on the flip side of that it doesn't really matter to me too much because i have so many power banks and things like that it just, I really, I, I care, but I don't care. I feel cheated uh, because of uh, of the price, uh, but I don't care because I've got other chargers, you know? And if I just had to use wireless charging, I, I could, but you know, it still doesn't make it right. No, it doesn't, of course it doesn't. Uh, but I think that um, this new iPhone is coming. There's supposed to be a 5.4, two 6.1s and a 6.7. So you're supposed to have this regular iPhone 12, then iPhone 12 Pro, then iPhone or iPhone 12 Max, and then iPhone 12 Max Pro. IPhones. I don't know. It's supposed to be four of them, supposedly. And they're all supposed to have OLED displays. And I'm pretty sure the chipsets are going to just be the next one up, the A14 or whatever. You know, you know how to do it. But the point is, it's going to be a fast phone. And supposedly the cameras are going to be better. And, you know, Apple's winning for video recording uh, from where I can sit and do all my testing and everything like that on cell phones, not not DSLRs. And I want to clear something out real quick. Um, yeah, this is my Sony A6100 with a Sigma lens, not the iPhone. So <laughs> respect to those people. No diss, but it's not just one person. It's been several people saying, oh, my gosh, dude, this is super clear. What'd you record this with? I'm like, come on, man. This is definitely not an iPhone. An iPhone cannot produce this kind of footage on a on its best day. It's not happening because I've tested it before and it just it'll never live up to a mirrorless camera, especially with a Sigma lens on it. It's not happening. I think those might be a, people who really love the iPhone and they're just trying to make it sound like it's way better than what it really is. Not happening. So let's get back over to the iPhone. All these different versions of the iPhone that they could possibly have, if they don't include a charging brick, 
and they don't include headphones, is it going to affect you and make you not say to yourself, I'm not buying the iPhone? Chances are no. iPhone people are going to glaze right over that, you know, when the iPhone comes. Like people who are really pro, I can see people like iJustine um, really just kind of skating right over that. She may mention it. Oh, it's not fair that it is, but it should be. Oh my God! You know, she'll be. She go to her regular self. Uh, it's not no shade on her. I, I watch her. I'm sub to her channel. She's a, she's a nice YouTuber, but she's a hype beast for Apple. I think everybody knows this. And even uh, I think Soja knows best. Shout out to Soja knows best. I, I, I watched his latest latest video. I'm su subscribed to him. Uh, but I think some YouTubers are really gonna blast it, and some YouTubers are gonna just skate right over it like it doesn't even matter. So that's why I say now for me, if it's just a phone and a charger, I, I think I'll gripe about it. I'm, or I'm griping about it right now. Uh, but after the fact, the phone will be, if the phone is got like the way these leaks are, I think I'm going to be really excited. I'll be really excited because it's going to go back to kind of that iPhone 5S body. Flat sides, flat screen. Yeah, and, and the iPhones have always, I guess, had a flat screen, but just that more boxy but rounded look. I think that's going to be important. So if Apple, in fact, takes away your charging brick, what are you going to do about it? Are you not going to buy the iPhone because of that? The current iPhones are going to definitely dip 100 bucks or at least 150 bucks, 50 to 150. They're going to drop them down. So, you know, you'll probably shoot to the iPhone 11s. You know, it's, it's, it's every year. They'll do the trade-ins. They'll give you some money. Uh, but... You know, Apple's selling a lot of refurbished iPhones in the Apple Store right now, too. Let's go to refurbished section. But I think that the fact that they're doing this, no matter what the iPhones look like and how good they are, it's always going to sit in my mind like, wow, this company's bold. They're going to slowly take away things each year. I don't know, folks. What do you guys think about Apple's move here? And they're not even going to be Type C, from what I can understand. They're not even going to be Type C. I could see if it was. You know they're they're taking away the uh, charging brick, but then they're making the phone Type C. But I don't even think they're going to be Type C. They're not even going to be Type C. They're going to still be this Lightning port, which is just crazy to me because the MacBooks, the iPhone, the iPads Type C. It's incredible. MacBooks, iPads Type C. No, no reason for the uh, phones not to be Type C at this point. <sighs> What do you guys think about Apple's move? Are you excited for the rumors and leaks of the iPhone 12 or whatever it's going to be? You think there's going to go ahead and be four of them? Because that's what the leaks suggest. And the leaks officially suggest, leaks officially suggest, no charging brick, no headphones. What are you going to do? It's your man Jay. Leave a comment down below on how these things affect you and your decision on switching to an iPhone full time or staying with Apple full time. See you in the next one. Take care.